Hello students, welcome to practical four. We will be performing a redox titration to determine the percentage iron compound in an unknown iron crystal. To accurately measure four aliquots of the unknown iron solution, we'll be using a burette to make sure that we have a certain amount in each Erlenmeyer flask. This we will titrate to an endpoint of a pale pink color without an indicator, seeing as we'll be using potassium permanganate, which has a very deep purple color. The purple color will act as an indicator as we near the endpoint of the titration, seeing as the purple from the potassium permanganate will be in surplus as it won't be reduced by the unknown iron compound in the flask. Once we have weighed out the unknown iron compound, we will add a dilute solution of sulfuric acid to provide an acidic medium for the redox reaction to take place. Once this is done, we're going to add distilled water to make up the solution to the mark in a volumetric flask. Once the solution has been prepared, it's important to wash the burette with distilled water and then wash it with your solution. We wash a burette with the solution by adding approximately 3 milliliters to the burette so that we can be sure that the solution covers the inside surface of the burette and not water molecules or that of any other chemicals. So we add a few milliliters and then simply swirl it around to make sure that the solution coats the total inside surface of the burette. After doing this, we dispose of this little volume and then fill it up to the mark. The solution from the volumetric flask will be used to dispense specific volumes into four Erlenmeyer flasks, which will then be titrated with the potassium permanganate. As mentioned, we are not using an indicator as the potassium permanganate has a deep dark violet color. So our color standards are the violet color and colorless samples. The end point of the titration will be in the middle of these two. 
We are going to do this titration in four replicates. Now remember that one of these replicates is going to act as a rough titration. A rough titration is simply to get an estimate of the endpoint volume. If you over titrate a rough titration, congratulations, that's the point of it. We just want to get an estimate of where the endpoint is so that when we do the replicates, half of the endpoint volume can be added at once as we do not have time to waste. If the colour is residual for 20 seconds, we have reached the end point of the titration. So we note the final volume so that we can calculate using the final and initial volume what the volume added is. Now that the titration is done, we must be sure to wash all glassware, such as the burette which contained the potassium permanganate, as potassium permanganate left unwashed will stain glassware brown. Since we collected all data necessary to calculate and quantify the iron in each of the samples, it is now possible for us to calculate the iron percentage in the unknown iron compound. 